Hey there, what is up? Sean Bailey, the Sales Funnel Nerd. Welcome to the Sales Funnel Nerd Podcast. This is episode number two. So today we're going to talk about something fun in regards to sales funnels. Last time we got the origin story out of the way, so today we're going to talk about uh, how I made 300 bucks in 15 minutes. Is that awesome or what? And I'm going to tell you how I did it. Now, uh, the reason that I did this um, was because of, this was kind of like away from from like the online business, private stuff. This is how powerful offer creation is. This is just like one of the things when it's like, you know, like those nuggets when you take some kind of learning or training and you get something, you're like, oh my God, this is so good. And that's how it was with offer creation, right? So here's what I had going on. So way back in the day, this was like so five years ago, I uh, bought two kayaks, one for me, one for my wife. And they were both identical. I kind of pimped mine out a little bit more, so it was kind of beat up and a little bit more, uh, um, you know, modified versus the stock option. Uh, so what we were doing was I was giving her mine and then I was going to sell hers because it was, uh, you know, still kind of like in the original state and it would have been easier to sell, I figured. So the reason I wanted to do this was because um, I wanted to get a bigger kayak, uh, a longer 12 foot one, right? Um, now these, I mean, these kayaks were in good shape. We had some good times and some fun with them. Uh, there was one time we went out, we kind of almost died, but it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't, uh, luckily we all came back. It was kind of crazy. It was, I'll tell you real quick, we were out. Uh, it was a long weekend and uh, me and my friend went out on, it was Thursday. And then everyone else was gonna get out there on Friday night. And then we were gonna have like Saturday, and then go home on Sunday type thing. So we went out there Thursday. We were out there like mid-afternoon. We decided to go out and do a little kayaking because he had his kayak, of course. So we're out doing our boating on the lake. And then on our way back, somehow he loses his his uh, his uh, life jacket because he was using it and he had it off because it was like, it's not a, yeah, we weren't, it's a very narrow lake and it's, yeah, super small. And he was basically using it as a backrest. So at some point it fell down and we got we get back to the shore and it's like okay the life jacket's gone so the next day we go out and it's bad weather and this lake is like very narrow but very very long right so we get out and of course it's blown his life jacket all the way to the end of this long long lake so we went all the way down we come around the last corner sure enough we see like this yellow spot on the shoreline it's his boat and we, we had like the weather had been like gray and overcast and not nice all the way down so we're like okay we got this let's head back start going and uh on the way back literally i i look up in the sky and i'm like looking at this black cloud just racing racing over my head and i'm like if it looks this fast from down here like that cloud must be like i mean going like hundreds of miles an hour like it's insane so i'm like before I can even process what's going on up above me with that cloud, all of a sudden there's a splash beside me. And I was like, oh, a fish? No. And then another splash. And then another splash. And I was like, what the? And then I look, splash right beside the boat. Sure enough, golf ball sized hail. So I'm like, oh my God, Brian, get over here. So he pulls his boat beside mine and we had umbrellas. Always keep an umbrella on your kayak, folks. Safety lesson number one. Pop the umbrellas. We're sitting there and these, these, hailstones are hitting the like literally you could feel it hitting the umbrella and we're just both like looking at each other kind of like laughing nervously we're like uh, wow that would have hit me in the head so yeah that was uh, quite a day so we got through that hailstorm got back got the life jacket and everything and of course like right as we're coming into shore like five minutes from shore it starts raining again so we had to like go and disembark in the rain and yeah that was actually the good day there was on saturday some stuff went down yeah, we'll do that. We'll talk about that one another time because that was like quite a quite a time. That was an insane weekend. Anyways, so that uh, that was a fun time, but we decided that uh, I needed a, a 12 foot kayak because I did some more experimentation. That's what happens when you watch YouTube videos. I, I, I watched a video where a guy put a trolling motor onto his kayak. So see somebody do something like that and you're like well i gotta do it too so i tried it and it was really cool but having like a you know a 12 volt battery in a 10 foot kayak really pushing the weight limit on that because i'm no small fellow myself so it was like okay if you go to a 12 foot kayak literally your weight capacity can go up by like 100 150 sometimes 200 pounds depends on the shape of the kayak so so i needed to sell the old kayak before i could go buy a new kayak so this is so this is what i did this is where we 
how we how sales funnels and and everything come into play here so learning through this like uh, challenge that I've been going through for the last month um, when they talked about offer creation I went and had a look on Kijiji to see because there's other kayaks for sale and yep sure enough people are selling kayaks right now I could have put a kayak up for sale but I would probably still be going and checking my Kijiji like a week later from you know like this was yeah this was a week ago a week ago that this happened but what happened is, is we, I looked and uh, at, at the stuff that was on there and I'm like, okay, I'm going to actually create an offer instead of just putting a kayak up for sale. And uh, I wrote it out and literally when I hit post, we had to go out, we were going out to the pub. So I hit post, it took us 15 minutes to get to the pub, we got to the pub, checking the, the phone because the phone's blowing up. And we're getting like, literally, we've had like three people message. The first guy in line, just kind of like first come, first serve. He was like, hey, I want to see it tomorrow. 15 minutes. And it was and, and it was pretty much done because he took it the next day. But the reason is because I didn't try and sell a kayak online. I sold, I created an offer, right? And this is what I did. So it wasn't just the kayak. It was the kayak and I was throwing in, we had an extra paddle. So I was throwing in, you're not just going to get a kayak, you're going to get the paddle. And I talked about... Um, I put like a kayak, uh, like a paddle holder, right? Basically a big rubber band with like a latch kind of on the sides that holds your paddle. So I described that, that you're going to get that thrown in. Um, that you're going to get, um, uh, what else was there? Oh, there was a roof mount kit. Basically two pieces of, of foam and some straps, but you can put it onto, if your car doesn't have a roof rack, you can put this kayak onto any car with this kit. So you get the, the, the roof rack kit as well, right? And then I had some, uh, because I saw a video uh, I watched this video and this guy showed how to make some kayak carts out of PVC and like a uh, little like lawnmower uh, wheels. So it was like super cheap for like 30 bucks or whatever. So um, I had upgraded into some better ones. So I had two of these things from before. So I told him not, you don't get just one, you get two of these little kayak carts. So you don't even have to carry your kayak from the car to the shore. Right. So I just layered it on, layered it on. And then at the end of it, I basically did like a, like a, like a stack. I'm like, here's what you're going to get this, this, and this, and this. And I told them, and I was like, you get this, you know, kayak, um, this kayak holder that's installed. And it was, you know, like a $35 value. Cause that's what I paid for it as far as, um, when I upgraded, uh, both of the kayaks. And, uh, so I just layered it on and I actually, you know, like I didn't just try and sell a kayak on Kijiji. I created an offer and it was awesome. Just like unloading it. Now here's, uh, the best part is that there was like no haggling over this. Cause usually people, when you sell something on Kijiji, uh, they're going to try to, you know, uh, get you to adjust your price. Right. And because I layered on so much stuff, so much detail, uh, in the description and made this into an offer instead of just a single product, a kayak for sale. Uh, at the end I said, you know, the price and I said firm because of all the extras. That's what I said because of all the extras. And, uh, it was great when I met the guy the next morning, it was like nine o'clock in the morning checked it out it was just kind of like a little bit of chit chat i just kind of walked him through the kayak and that was it no haggling he was just like okay so that's the price peeled off the bills and that was it and the great thing is here's the best part he actually said to me yeah i was looking online for a kayak i just sold my boat the other day so i was looking to you know downgrade from my boat to a kayak looked at all the other ones that were on there but yours uh, i liked yours because it was the full meal deal that's what he said it was the full meal deal because i created an offer it was so awesome so yes, that is that is the great thing. Um, what does offers have to do with sales funnels? An offer is the first thing you need to have uh, hammered out in your sales funnel, right? If you've got if you don't have an offer, you can't go you can't go whip up some pages and be like, okay, now we've got a funnel, like because we're gonna do a webinar funnel, and now we just got to kind of come up with the stuff for it, right? You come up with an offer, and that will usually kind of tell you or guide you towards what kind of funnel you need. But um, yeah, that's the difference. Don't sell a product, create an offer. Uh, just blow away your competition when you do that and uh, it is absolutely awesome and if you guys want um, if you want to see the ad script what I actually wrote and what I did to like sell this kayak toot sweet um, then all you have to do is once we get to like 10 likes or shares uh, whatever this is gonna be let's go with 10 10 likes or 10 shares 10 of something and then I'll post the ad script uh, either onto Facebook or uh, below the YouTube video for this. Um, and uh, I'll put it on there. But 
yeah, it is awesome. It was, oh, it was so great to take like a lesson that I learned uh, from this one funnel away challenge and uh, just like apply it to, uh, you know, to real life and have it like pan out so well. Like it was just so awesome. Just like done, done so 15 minutes. It's like, yep, I want it. I'm coming to get it tomorrow. So great. So, so great. Um, yeah. So if you want to uh, check this out, um, if you're listening to this, just go to shambayla.com forward slash one funnel away and that's of course s-h-a-w-n-b-a-y-l-e-y dot com forward slash one funnel away other than that i'll probably have a link underneath the video um and uh like i say once we get up to some likes and shares on this i'll post the ad script underneath this and uh you will dig it and i will see you in the next episode